this edition of Synth Tutorial with Computer Music, we're going to be revisiting the oscillator section of the Bazil CM to create a fractal sync tone. This will sound very similar to the hard sync sound, which is so identifiable from many other subtractive synthesizers, but we're going to be creating it in a very different way. As you can see, we have our Bazil CM plugin already open in front of us, and the first thing we'll need to do is perform an initialize. We do this by clicking on the display, which is at the top of the plugin window, and come down to the bottom of the drop down menu and select init for initialize. Strangely, the one aspect which is not initialized as part of this process is the effects delay, which we see on the bottom right hand side. Go down to this section and just click the off button. We're going to start creating our sound by going to the oscillator 1 section and coming halfway down to the phase distortion section. You can see at the moment we have a primary sawtooth selected, but we're going to come to the drop down menu which is below this and select half saw. This means that when we play a note and activate the phase distortion, we hear this sound. Which is very similar to a filter opening and closing. We want to set the phase distortion pot to a value of 26.50. Next, we're going to move down to the fractalize section. Fractalize behaves very much like resonance from a conventional filter, but in order to activate it, we need to move to the drop down menu to the right of the pot and select max. Now when you play a note and increase the pot, you hear resonance. And you can hear the beginnings of our hard sync sound. Be sure to leave the fractalize pot to a value of zero, which is all the way around to the left hand side. As part of this patch, we're going to use two envelope settings. Envelope 1 is controlling amplitude modulation, which is also known as volume, and this is already hardwired by default. However, we might want to just check the settings, which will be attack set to 0, decay set to 50, sustain set to a maximum of 100, and release set to 20. Moving across to envelope 2, which is on the right hand side of the plugin, we're going to make some alterations to these values. First of all, Leave attack set to 0, but then set decay to a value of 63. Set the sustain value to 0, and leave release set to 20. We're going to be using envelope 2 to modulate two different elements on the synthesizer. We can create our first modulation by going to the output patch point just to the right of where it says ADSR, click and hold with the mouse, and drag your virtual cable over to the fractalize pot, which is on the left hand side. Drop it on the socket, and it should become attached. We then need to change the value of the fractalized modulation pot to 2.40. This now means that envelope 2, and particularly the decay phase, is modulating the fractalized pot. We now hear a sound like this. We're going to create a second modulation to heighten the effect even further. Going back to envelope 2, click and hold again on the output point and drag your virtual patch cable over to the phase distortion section. Drop it on the phase distortion modulation pot. We then need to change the value of this pot to 30, that's 30. And we should now hear a sound like this. At the moment the sound's a little bit on the quiet side, so going to the output 1 section, change the volume control to a value of 45. This increase shouldn't be too overbearing. If we now play our patch, we have a sound like this. And you can hear that every time we play a note, we get a re-attack of the envelope. This isn't what we might regard as the ubiquitous hard sync sound, but we can do something about that by visiting the voice section and changing the mode from polyphonic to legato. Legato is a form of monophonic playback, but it's also linked in with the glide, which is a couple of sections below. When you play two notes, one after another, you can hear we don't get a re-triggering of the envelope, but we can also initiate a degree of glide by changing the amount pot. It's up to you to initiate how much glide you would like, but we would suggest keeping it relatively low or non-existent. Finally, as this is a lead sound, it may well benefit from a little bit of that effects delay which we turned off at the beginning of the tutorial. Go back to the effects delay section and hit the on button. You can adjust the amount of delay in the signal by changing the feedback control.